winter time and while people are focused on the holidays and buying stuff we're focused on one thing saving lives while in service to the father's kingdom this is bob on the street excuse me really would you mind being in a video you want a free first aid kit okay. all right for sure man take it easy have a great day bless you bro we gotta go use the bathroom first all right the all right well, have a great day you want to be in a video, you win a free first aid kit. No. It's pretty dope, bro. All right, no, for sure. Ah, all right. Nobody wants to be on camera, like, which is ironic because everybody's always on camera. Would you mind being in a quick video about medical equipment? You win a free $60 first aid kit. You know what? Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Heck yeah. What's your name? I'm John. John? I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, bro. My name's Bob. What's your name? Bob Mitchell. Mitchell, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Private Black. Private Black. Awesome, private. Daryl. Daryl, nice to meet you, bro. Do you know what the number one preventable cause of death is in the U.S. right now? Uh, first aid, CPR. The largest preventable cause of death is in the U.S. right now? No. Guess. Not 100% sure, but based on the fact that you're holding a tourniquet, I'm going to say it's, what are they called? Massive bleeding? Like, yeah, mass, mass bleeding. People not knowing first aid, maybe? Sure, yeah, people not knowing first aid. It's actually massive bleeding, right? Meaning that somebody was bleeding from an artery, right? We got a couple that run through our body. Yeah. And nobody knew how to turn it off. Yeah. Uh, do you know what a tourniquet is? Yes, I do. Yeah, have you ever worked a tourniquet before? Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a combat lifesaver in uh, the Army. I okay, so you absolutely know how to use this, right? Yeah. Have you ever worked a tourniquet before? Nope. You know what a tourniquet is? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you were given a tourniquet right now, do you think you can get it to work? I think so. Yeah. Do you know what a tourniquet is? Uh, it's... Uh, wrapping around the arm, generally, like if you're bleeding here, you put it here. Yeah, absolutely. Do yeah. you know how to use this? Yes, sir. You've been taught on how to use this? Yes, sir. Can you show me how to use it? Go ahead, just put it on yourself right now, so you can put this on your body right now, oh, yeah. and you can successfully demonstrate for, for me how to use that, right? I gotta do this on myself. Yep, do it on yourself. You're not gonna hurt yourself. Would you be able to work a tourniquet, do you think, if somebody gave you yeah. one? For sure. Yeah. Can you show me on my arm how to work a tourniquet? Already been staged, you're good to go. He's got the pressure right now of having to deal with it on camera, but he's a CLS dude, so this should be nothing to him. So what you want to do is put yep. it and you put it, how I learned it was you put it up as high as possible, like right. on the arm, yep. you have like the, uh, what's it called, the artery that's up yep. there. Yeah, you, you do. Put it up as high as physically possible, and then ready. you pull it as tight as you can. Yep, as tight as you can. I don't want to cut off blood circulation. Well, that's exactly yeah. what you want to do. That, that's what you want to do, but I don't want so to there, you won't, myself right now. You won't do anything to harm your body right now by doing yeah. that, just so you know. Tony you got shot in the arm. Okay, all right. It's a red tab. What do you think you got to do with that red tab? Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, for sure. There you go. There you go. You're getting it. There you go. Twist, yep, twist, just work that windlass. Until you can't. Twist anymore, or until what? The bleeding stops, right? Until the bleeding stops. Or right. You can't feel it. Yep, absolutely. All right. This. Yeah. That's pretty good, bro. Then you twist this to get it as tight as you possibly can. And then you just lock it in place there. Throw that over there, and then you want to make sure you put the time and date that you applied the tourniquet so that way when medical assistance arrives, they know, they know absolutely uh, point. so that way we can do tourniquet conversion, right? Turn it like this, right? As tight as you can. What do you think? You think that'll work? Yeah, okay, now let go. Oh, well, just loosen back up. I'm gonna take your pulse if you mind. I promise I don't have any crazy diseases. All righty, so you still have a pulse. Okay. So if you had a critical bleed right now, that means the blood is still flowing, that okay. means you're all the way dead. Right. Okay. I'm going to show you really quick how, what it feels like to have an actual tourniquet on, if that's okay with you. Sure. So you're very, very close. Your, in, your intuition is right, yeah. okay? At that point, so, I'd probably just hold it. <laughs> right. So look, so you pull this yeah. as tight as you can, and you see that it's got some Velcro right here, some yeah. hook and loop, and you secure that on the back, just like so. And pop this little windlass out. Yeah. Now, we can spin this windlass like so, and there's an inner band in the Kevlar that is constricting the muscle pushing the artery against the bone, basically the same way as if you were to step on a garden hose, right? Stopping the flow of blood. Just to show you right now, there's no problem in absolutely applying that all the way tight, working it the correct way, and practice shutting off that blood flow when you're not getting shot at, right? 
because we're not going to magically do something correctly when we're getting shot at and make sure you get that tail all the, th all the way through that C-clamp. You can even wrap it back around, right? And then we'll put our time tab because now I can't move this. This hand's been immobilized. I've cut off blood flow, all these things. And now I can't mess this up, right? So we always say it's one turn past bad words, right? So that's not bad words, right? And that's not bad words. And now we're really starting to get into it and we should have a loss of flow here. Yeah, and you have no flow, right? So it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's not a super cool feeling, right? <laughs> And all you do is you take this bad mamma jamma, put it through your C-clamp and secure a time tab, and then write the time that you place the tourniquet on. This has now successfully shut off the flow of blood to my arm. I'm not dying, my arm's okay. I'm not gonna lose my arm because of this, right? I'll be completely fine. However, what I have done is prevent death, right? How long does it take for a uh, femoral bleed for somebody to go into hypovolemic shock? Irreversible blood loss, do you know? Mm -hmm. about like seven minutes, they can just totally bleed out. Two minutes, 45 seconds? Two minutes, yeah, so it, it's roughly, it, it depends on how big you are, right? Because Dudley's got a little bit more blood in his body than yeah. I do, if you can believe it, right? Um, and it goes for about a minute and a half to two minutes yeah. on average, right? 90 seconds is kind of the sweet spot that we want to be in. Have you ever heard of the saying life over limb? Yes. Yeah, sure. okay. Did you know that that's actually no longer accurate given the tourniquet technology that we have? I guess not, no. Do you carry a tourniquet on you? Uh, no, sir, I do not. Do you carry a tourniquet on you? I carry one in my car, yeah. Do you think that you could do that practice in about 90 seconds? Oh, yeah. With practice? Oh, yeah. Knowing that the number one preventable cause in the U.S. is massive bleeding, right? Knowing that car, driving cars, we drive like freaking 2,000 pound missiles, 70 miles per hour, right? With absolute lunatics texting and driving. Yeah. Would you carry a tourniquet every day? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So, if you have the ability to use this tool, and you know, right, you took an oath, right, to the Constitution to uphold yes, it, protect sir. it, right, protect our citizenry, yes, right? Sir. With that, will you start carrying a tourniquet in hopes that if somebody were to have a massive bleed, you'd be able to render aid? Yes, sir. Yeah? So what I'm going to give you today, this is a bleeding prevention kit. On the back, you have a little QR code, takes you straight to some videos, teaches you how to use it, gives you information, right, it doesn't teach you, because teaching requires reps and sets. And with that, you've got a tourniquet in there, you have wound packing gauze, you have additional gloves, you have a pair of shears, you also have an emergency trauma dressing. That can handle the M in the March E algorithm, right? Really, really well. It's a massive bleeding kit. I hope you look at us up, you know? I Feel free, we have training all the time. I think it'd be really good for somebody like you who already has the experience they have to get further trained. We need more dudes, more prepared out here. And now, you have the potential to save somebody's life. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, brother. Have a great one, all right? You too. I really appreciate you. Thanks for what you do. Keep your head down, all right? Yes, sir. We're trying to save lives. We got over 120 lives saved to date um, just by using our gear. So, definitely put this in that go bag. Heck yeah, brother. Put a tourniquet in your pocket. Yes, sir. Seriously. All right? Have a nice day. Bless you, brother. Have a good one. I really appreciate you, bro. Sure, man. Spread the news of the good gospel of Jesus Christ and then also teach people about first aid, all right? Absolutely. Heck yeah, brother. You have a great day, all right? Yeah, for sure, brother. And that's it. I mean, we just coming out here preaching the good news of first aid gear to the people because they need to hear it. And if we don't take to the streets and teach individuals, they ain't never gonna learn. Whether it's just one person at a time or whether you're teaching a crowd or whatever it may be, you gotta go out and talk to people. You gotta go make a difference. That's the main thing, is you have an ability to impact people's lives for good, net good. It doesn't take anything, but I don't know, Dud, how long we've we been here, 30 minutes? Just about. Just about 30 minutes, right? This could be an easy project for something to do every single week, right? It's a great way to serve your community. It's a great way to make sure that the people around you know how to use this stuff in case you find yourself in a pickle. So yeah, go. Do your own Bob on the street. Tag me in it. Do a, do, do a Jim on the street. Do a Kelly on the street. Who cares? But go out there and make a difference and carry an effing tourniquet. Love y'all.